Okay, this is Mrs. Wilkowskis in the library. It is 126, uh, January 26, 2017, and this video is um, about verifying and citing works of art for Stockard's Greek mythology project. Okay, so this came, this image came in, and the question was, how do I verify it came from a museum, and how do I cite it? So we know it came from a museum because when, when the works of art are posted on the museums, they're posting things from their collection. So if you had gone out and typed in Hera in Google Images, you would have found all sorts of things. That's why I encourage you to go to museum sites because they're only really posting things that are in their collection. You don't have to wonder where are they getting this picture from. Uh, that's why you won't see the same pictures on the different uh, museum websites. But I checked myself, so I clicked through here. And it tells me this Hilbrun timeline of art history is telling the story of art and global culture through the museum's collection. So they're indicating to you that it's in the museum's collection. So pretty much if you find it on the museum site, it's in its collection. So you're, you're good to go. So we're going to keep going forward and we're going to talk about how we're going to cite this. So let me encourage you, this is on the writing website, writing resources page on the library's website, go through Noodle Tool. When you go to Noodle Tools, it's going to, when you do this at school over our Wi-Fi or through one of our wired in computers, it's going to authenticate you to our school subscription. You make an account under our school subscription, and then you can use any Wi-Fi, any computer to, to create your citations. But to make this initial um, account, do it here at school um, because it is a paid for feature. You're, what you're getting is pretty pretty fantastic. So you come here, uh, you, you make your account and make it your username and password something you're going to remember. Even as the administrator to the account, um, to the subscription, I can't look up your username and password, which I find bizarre, but I can't. So be careful with that. Okay. So when you make your account, you're not going to see any of these projects. These are projects that I've been working on over the past couple years. Okay. So I, um, you would, you would start by making a new project. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Greek, Stockard's Greek Mythology Project. I'm going to click it right here. But, well, no, let me show you. You'll go to New Project. You'll decide you want an MLA. You want it advanced. Put in a title here, and you hit Submit, and it'll create one of these projects right here. So we're going to go on into Greek Mytho Stockard's Greek Mythology Project. I've already created this um, citation. We're going to go to Sources because this is the second time I made this video. I don't know where the first one went, but we're just going to do it again. Okay, so we're going to create a new citation. First thing you're going to do is, where did you get it? You know, is it off of a database? Uh, she got this off the website. Okay, once you're in how you got it, what is it? What is it? It is a work of visual art right here. All righty. So, we're going to go back and forth between this image. Where did the image go? I wonder if I lost it. Here we go. Sorry about that. We're going to go back and forth between this image and grab the citation information. So the title of this says painting. Oh, not a painting. It is a sculpture. Title of the sculpture is right here. Is it really a title or is it providing a description instead? This is really, the title is the description. So we're going to call it, we're going to say it's entitled because we're providing a description instead. And then next to it, you'll see this little yellow warning triangle sign. That is their way of suggesting to you something that they think is wrong. And usually they're right. I'm going to show you in a minute one time when they're wrong. Okay, I'll show you why they're wrong. So it wants me to, in MLA format formatting, citation style is telling me that all of the important words need to be capitalized. Here we go. Uh, let's go back to my picture. Here is my date. I'm going to copy and paste it. it. Looks like it says date, but if you click over, you see it. Actually, let me click on it. Here, let's try this again. Click on it. Generally a year, but can be a time period an estimation or an uncertain date. I'm just going to, I'm going to type what I know. You know, it's really hard when you're building these citations, you feel like you're supposed to always know everything. You can't put anything you don't know in. So if you don't know the artist, which you're not going to, the sculpture's 25, you know, 2,500 years old. Um, they're not going to know the artist. You leave it blank. Don't let that scare you. That's the appropriate thing to do. Okay. Um, we know this is, the website's called The Met, okay? 
click back through here and you go to the home page it's called the Met okay so we're going to plug that in because that's name of the container website okay container websites provides the name of the website or the project so this is called the Met alrighty publisher of the site who made this site okay this site is made by let me see usually I like to find the about at the bottom about the Met okay this is where it's funky where I was talking to you, I'm going to show you where it tells you you've made a mistake and you haven't. Here we go. It's called the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and it's in New York City. But notice, I want you to notice something here. This the is capitalized. That means it is part of the formal name, part of the proper name. Okay. So we're going to plug this in, hit, and it tells me, wait a minute. Omit the the at the beginning of the publisher's name. So, for example, I'll give you an example. If you told me you wanted to go to, to the Michael C. Carlos Museum, okay, notice it's not called the Michael C. Carlos Museum. And when they refer to it, they call it the Carlos Museum or the Michael C. Carlos Museum. But when you refer to the Me Museum of uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art, the the is a part of the title. So keep that there. That makes it appropriate. The URL, I'm going to go back to the original URL. Different teachers have different requirements and even different, uh, I think, I could be wrong, but I think even different um, editions have different requirements. Some teachers only want the root URL, which is the www.metmuseum.org. Sometimes they want the entire URL. Ask your teacher. And if I had to guess and not know, I'd use the whole thing. Every once in a while, you'll get a URL that's, you know, lines and lines long. That's not this case. So you could just, I would leave it in. Uh, date of access right here. Okay, you could change it if you accessed it two weeks ago. And you hit submit. Okay, now I've got two citations. Now let me just show you something. T typically... These would be two different citations, and they would alphabetize them for you. This is the best thing about using Noodle Tools, okay? She wants a works consulted page, so you're going to come here, go to formatting options. You want not a works cited, works consulted. You need to put your name in there, right? Uh, we're not doing annotations. We're doing citations only. Annotations when you have to do annotated bibliography, when you have to do a description of your resources. And I don't think that's what she's asked for. And then you print as a Word document. You come down here. Here we go. Here it is. Here's my works cited. I think it only did one because it recognized the two are the exact same thing. Um, but otherwise, it would list them in alphabetical order. It would already have the hanging indent. You should always check. So some somebody's citations because she's going to grade you on it you know it won't be she won't like it if you say oh that's what noodle tools gave me she's going to hold you accountable but it is such a great way to start so you can enable editing and you can just copy and paste this whole thing and put it in your document so hopefully this is helpful let me know if you have any other questions